Good morning, everyone. Our today's theorem is a skew symmetric determinant of odd order is zero. Now let's prove this theorem. The theorem says that a skew symmetric determinant of odd order will be zero. Now first take a matrix A of order n, which is skew symmetric. Skew symmetric. And here our n is a odd number. Now we know that if a matrix is skew symmetric, then it means that a transpose will be equals to negative of the original matrix. And here the elements follows the rules that a i j each a i j will be equals to minus a j i. Now since we have the matrix a is this. So, the determinant of A will be A11, A12, up to A1n. The second row will be A21, A22, to A2n. Following the similar, but we have the last row, AN1, AN2, ANN. Now, see that. Here our A is skew symmetric. So we can replace each A i j here by minus A j i. So write every element that is every A i j as minus A j i. So this A 1 1 will be minus A 1 1. This will be minus A 2 1. And this is minus A n 1. Similarly, we can write A minus a12, minus a22, to minus a n2. Follow the similar process. The last row will become minus a1 n, minus a2 n, and minus a n n. Now see, we can take minus one common from each column. Since this is a of order n, so we have minus 1 to the power n. And the remaining part is a11, a21 to a n1, a12, a22 to a n2, a1n, a2n, a2n, a n n. Now see, see, in determinant of A, this part is our matrix A. Here, each row is the column. And each column is a row here. So, this is just the transpose of our matrix A. This is our A transpose. So, we can see that this is the determinant of a transpose. Now since a, our n is odd, so this is minus 1 and this is our determinant of A transpose. We know that determinant of A transpose is equals to determinant of original matrix A. So here we have minus determinant of A. We start from determinant of A and we get minus of determinant of A in this side. Determinant of A. So we have 2 of determinant of A is equals to 0. Which implies that determinant of A is here 0. So we can say that if we have a skew symmetric matrix of odd order, then the determinant of that matrix will be 0. So this is our proof. Thank you.